I'm up opposed to it because it could follow a gas line that would come up through my property, go within 100 feet of my home, through my pasture, would break up my home, or my farmstead, um, and through a beautiful area that I, I just am very opposed to it. Uh, what were you saying about a gas line? Affecting it, it? It would be following a, a gas line easement that's already existing, which would just cut right through our homestead. Wouldn't that be an issue, having electric and gas next to each other? Well, I would think. Okay, I don't know, but it sure does to me. Um, so they're putting it along this easement because it's already an easement, so they're going to cram something else into it? Right. They... Um, in the paperwork that they gave us in the informational meeting in here, they said they followed corridors that were already existing, um, like power lines that were already there. Second on the list were gas lines. Third on the list were highways. So gas lines were the second corridor that they looked at. Right. So this would uh, go through your property? Yes right past my house, within 100 feet. Um, have they presented you with any studies about how many, what the percentage of the children are that get leukemia from the EMF or any of these types of things? Or No, and when I inquired about how it was going to affect my uh, real estate property value, they said 0 to 10 percent, that it would only affect it either from zero dollars to maybe ten percent. And so you'd be paid compensation? That, she didn't say that. Because? The only compensation I understood that I would get would be that the existing sure, gas like line, there's a hundred foot right away, but they need a hundred and fifty, so they'd have to purchase that extra fifty feet. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.